This is Happily Holistic, where we dive deeply into everything health and wellness with a big dash of spirituality and a sprinkle of business. We spotlight the uplifting and the positive and share the secret ways top wellness authors and celebrities get inspired, stay healthy, and enjoy this beautiful life. I'm your host, Amy Lee Mercury, best-selling author of 15 books and holistic health expert for the last 19 years. I can't wait to get happily holistic with you today. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Happily Holistic Podcast. I am so excited to have Diana Cooper with us here today. Hi, Diana. Hi, lovely to see you. Yes, I'm so glad Diana's with us. So Diana is a prolific author. She's written over 30 books. We know her uh, as a kind of one of our UK friends for us here in the United States. And she does a lot of work with angels and mythical creatures and we're going to talk a lot about unicorns today and just all kinds of wonderful things and you can find diana at dianacooper.com is that correct yes that's right okay yeah. good you got that website early kudos and the thing is that unicorns are not mythical creatures no they they, are oh, help us. real yeah. energies they are awesome i love it the unicorns are a vast force of pure white light that spreads through the universe and out of it individuals are created and very often these appear as pure white ascended horses but I love that. sometimes they come in as diamonds or even just a flame of light people see them in so many wow. different ways but they then take touch you with their extraordinary energy and their purity and they are helping us so much now in so many ways. One of them is to be healthy, to be totally healthy. Right. They touch you and align you so that your 12 chakras are in perfect alignment. And this means Wonderful. that you can start manifesting your divine health blueprint. Now for, now, for the first time since the fall of Atlantis, we are able to live in the fifth dimension and bring in our fifth dimensional health blueprint. So they work with mm -hmm. Archangel Raphael, placing it into your third eye. It's a bit like an architect, you know, you have the possibility there and they're starting to manifest it for us as soon as we are attuned to it. So they can do so much because unicorns are fully of the angelic realms mm. they are enlightened beautiful amazing beings and of course they are they have a horn of light because mm. their third eye is wide open and they are fully enlightened and their aim is to touch us to heal us to heal the planet mm -hmm. and bring us to full enlightenment for the new golden age starting in 2032. So obviously Coming. they are here helping us during this period of great turmoil when the whole planet is going through an initiation, holding us steady, giving us hope for the future. I have on my YouTube channel a pilot, an 18 minute pilot for documentary. And I interviewed various people who had connected with and talked to unicorns. And what I got from it was that the unicorn message was always one of hope. Yes, there are wonderful things coming. We have to, as a planet and individuals, go through what we're going through now. But at the end of this, there is something amazing. So hold the vision of what is going to happen and do not engage with all this fear and yucky stuff down yeah. here. Now, Absolutely. interestingly, one of the things that they do is when they come into you and they fill your aura, they seal your aura. In that pilot for the documentary on my YouTube, we have a doctor who is one of the teachers of the Diana Cooper School of White Light. Mm -hmm. And she takes a patient that she'd never met before through a unicorn healing, one that we teach in the school. And they, we take her aura photograph beforehand 
and it's kind of yellow because she says she always worries and of course worry creates holes in your aura yeah. and she always had stomach problems as a result of this yes. and then we took her photograph after she had gone through a very yeah. short unicorn healing yes. it had changed it was pure white but more important than that was every single hole in her aura where you could actually see dark energy coming in mm -hmm. was totally sealed and that wow. means you know so many people that are listening to your programs are going to be sensitives so yeah. it's very easy then to have your aura broken and then other people's energy come in you're walking down the road, somebody's angry, it comes straight through your aura and you don't know why you feel it. Mm -hmm. And so when it is sealed, all that energy bounces off you. Then your energy is for yourself to create good health. And that's what they wish for us. And that's the energy that they are holding for us. Unicorns heal at a soul level. Angels work with the wishes of the heart. Mm. Unicorns work with the desires of the soul, but they're also healing our souls. And so we have brought in our, our health is the result of energies that we've brought in from past lives, mm -hmm. from our total soul journey. And mm -hmm. so people have beliefs and they bring those beliefs in. The unicorns can help you to heal them. They will literally go down your soul pathway and put pure white light in and wow. start to heal some of those past life beliefs that we all have, that we all bring in. And also the genetic beliefs and the Absolutely. genetic inheritances that we all have because we're all taking on right now all the, this is end times we're taking mm -hmm. on the karma of mm -hmm. all our relatives all the family everything and so we it stops now up to now people have been able to say okay um i don't want to take that on and they pass right. it on down the line right now it's end times everything has to be dealt with mm. and so it, there are some very brave souls coming in right now who are literally taking on everything from their family and genetic history. I see and it as a medical intuitive. All oh, the right. How I fascinating. Do. Yeah, I do oh, that all the time. Really, mm -hmm. really, really nice to hear. To hear. Yeah. And one of the things that one of the ways that they do it, of course, is your vibration of the illness, the disease, the belief is at this level. They come in and raise that frequency to this mm -hmm. level. And then, you know, that is vibrating here. But if you're vibrating up here with the unicorn energy, that illness can't touch you anymore. It has to start the mm -hmm. process of healing. And so- I love that. Yeah, it, it's so that. simple to understand I that they that. literally raise your frequency beyond uh -huh. it i remember my spirit guide saying to me years ago that mm. uh, he was talking about aids at the time and mm. he said that the energy on the planet is rising and as soon as enough people have raised the frequency above mm. the frequency of aids then simultaneously doctors will find a cure yeah. and of course he said it's nothing to do with a cure it's the yes. fact that enough people the frequency. raise their yeah. frequency. And yeah. the fascinating thing, as you well know, Amy, is that one person can then, as soon as their consciousness is clear of that, they literally send it out. And by yes. harmonic transference, yes. everybody around them is also cleared and has raised their frequency beyond that disease. So it's, it's really, really wonderful how quickly mm -hmm. this is now happening on the planet. Absolutely wonderful. And um, I think one of the questions our listeners might have is the difference between, I'll, I'll use an example, 
I teach shamanism and I have for 20 years. And a guide that I've worked with for probably close to 20 years is a white Pegasus. Um, so is there, uh, the Pegasus I work with sometimes will have a horn, but typically doesn't and didn't initially. Is there a difference? And how does that kind of fit in with, with what you're transmitting? Because I'd just love to hear your take on it. Okay, so um, unicorns are a pure white energy that often yeah. take the form of a, a white horse. Yeah. And that, that is um, a shape that was chosen for them by source. Yeah. Connect with the actual horses. And if, they're th if they are working primarily with enlightenment, then their third eye will be mm. open and they will have their horn of light showing. Uh -huh. If they're working primarily with their heart center, ah. then they ha will have wings because even humans, as you know, we all have etheric yes. wings yes, that do. can't be seen. Yeah. Yes. So the, okay. that's the angelic energy coming from them. Yeah. And so yours has pr is primarily working with heart center yeah. energy, but sometimes is working with full enlightenment. Yeah. So it has got either energy to help you yeah. with, which, which is wonderful. And more and more people are seeing Pegasus. Yeah. And also means that people are more aligned to their energies. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, one of the things I get to hear about, it's interesting because like I said, I've been doing this for 20 years. So a lot of the things that I was working with in earlier in my path, I get to hear about in my clients now. Um, <laughs> and, and there wasn't all this literature about unicorns, mermaids, you know, uh, dragons, pegasus. Yeah. Like it was just kind of like, well, you were just, I'm sure you, you were probably, on the scene and I would have loved to have known about you, but I think because you're in the UK, I didn't know. So we were kind of, you know, just experiencing it. So I'd love to hear your your take on the whole, there's sort of almost a trend now in new age philosophy about the working with dragons. I'd love to hear your take on that. I think you you do some of that as well. Is that correct? I have, yes, I've written okay. a book about dragons called tell, Dragon. Tell us a, a little bit. An amazing the, dragon card, yeah. if they were just here. Oh my, yes, show us. Yeah, I've got amazing dragon cards. Let's just pick one out now. Um, oh, love it. Okay. Yes. Let's see what we've got. You've got, oh, it's interesting. I don't think very often get this one. Thor's red, black, and gold dragon. Ooh. And the message is it protects you in times of change. Well, that's right now. This is we'll be airing our interview a little bit later, but for the listeners, we're recording at the end of October, 2020. So it's a time of change, absolutely. It's a massive time of change. There's never yes. been anything like this, as you know, in the entire yes. history of the planet. Yes. And the thing is, we have got this 20 years to do this double dimensional shift. Yes. And all the, every single universe, all 12 universes are yes. doing a dimensional shift. And Absolutely. of all these universes, Earth is the only one that is doing a double dimensional shift mm -hmm. because we were in a fourth dimension. We are in a fourth dimensional universe uh -huh. moving up to the fifth dimension. But mm -hmm. Earth stayed in the third dimension yes. because we were given free will mm. and we, we used our free mm. will in a way that nobody in their darkest <laughs> moments imagined we would do. And uh -huh. it kept us right down. It was always mm -hmm. also an experiment to see how far we could go from source and stay yes. connected to source. Yes. And also yes. Earth is the solar plexus of this universe. Mm. And this means that we're taking in the fears of the universe. Yeah. And we're the ones that are transmuting that. That makes and a lot of sense. Because of these things, mm -hmm. there is so much goodwill and help for Earth. Coming so much help, yes. All over the universes. Yes. All the Absolutely. angelic beings, wise, illumined ones. Galactic beings. All of them. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Galactic dragons pouring in right now. That's and what I'm saying. It's like such a trend with my medical intuitive they're not just medical intuitive clients they're just clients who come i talk to their spirit guides yeah. that's my job yeah 
such a trend with my clients, the dragons. And I've been like, maybe I should work with dragons some more. Like I did, you know, many years ago. And I was kind of like, well, this seems to be a big trend. Oh, I'm that's kind of a unicorn person. Though, yeah. so. <laughs> well, I was just um, communicating with somebody who is also yeah. an, an intuitive and he works very powerfully with a lot of these energies. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that he's just done another leap forward and it was the dragons that kept coming that down during that time to help with that yeah. leap. Because as you know, uh -huh. dragons can delve into deep, dense energies and yeah. clear stuff that the angels and the unicorns can't reach. Yeah. So they're all working together mm -hmm. on their different levels to enable us to move as fast as we can to ascension and to bring mm -hmm. the whole planet with us to ascension. We're trying. We're really living in these extraordinary times. Oh, so dynamic. And, um, you know, I think for our listeners, I think it would be a great thing for them to hear as we're, you know, experiencing this dynamism. I'm kind of picturing 20, my, from my guides, 2020 into 2021, a little bit as having like, a winter hurricane sort of proverbially <laughs> metaphorically um especially here in the u.s where things oh, are nearly as bad uh, here i can tell you yeah i think it is so um there's so a surprising think, amount of fear if this is what it's releasing it, it is fear and at, from a medical intuitive perspective since the covid virus whole thing came on the scene at the beginning of the year what I've seen with people who have contracted the virus and had, you know, zero to many symptoms or the energy of the virus itself, what it's brought in is a, a frequency that's loosening what I would call ancestral latency, specifically in the lung channel. So latency is something that we're holding on a deep constitutional level that was passed mm -hmm. down from, you know, our genetics and our ancestors. Absolutely. And, and, the human race and the earth in co-creative partnership called this experience into being to loosen this so we clear it and understandably i mean there's going to be fear as one of the big emotions associated with all of this density that we're clearing but now, we've do you also, it. sorry do you yes, also please. find amy and yeah. a lot of this is to do with the heart center and the yeah. fact that you know, mm. the lungs and the heart are so connected. Yes. And yes, yes. much of this stuff that's coming in from past lives, the ancestral yes. stuff we've been talking about, mm -hmm. is about broken hearts at some level yeah. um, and pain and unforgiveness. Mm. And this coming forward so that we now forgive. Yes. And this is one of the things that the unicorns help us with. I it, love this. Yes. And forgiveness. Yes. And so as it comes forward, so they can work with us. To yes. Clear, to purify that energy and release it. And also, another thing that COVID is doing is it's, mm. it's providing a portal of opportunity for people to pass over. Yes, it is. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. People, Absolutely. I don't know why, but people are frightened of passing over. Yeah. And this is what a lot of the fear is about. Yes, but it actually, is. Actually, it's an amazing opportunity that's being yes. granted to us Absolutely. to allow people to let go if mm -hmm. they want to. If it's their soul exit level. Point. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, in order to pass over, you have to have agreement from your guardian angel and from your and from mm -hmm. source. It's not yes. something you can just do. Right. And so this opportunity is being provided for people. So Absolutely. That they can let go, if they feel, especially if they feel that they've done what they've needed to do here. Absolutely. And one of the things that I got when this was kind of starting too from, I work with the archangels, like they're my kind of my main helpers. Mm -hmm. A lot of my main helpers, God, some goddesses as well. But um was that a lot of benevolent beings of light, probably everyone we've talked about and more, interceded on behalf of humanity and made this be a virus and not something a lot worse on the planet to, to so have this dynamic thing happen here. Yeah. So um, I'd love to hear 
what you would share with our listeners, whether it's a unicorn process or something else to deal with the fear, to move the fear out of the, out of the body, out of the energy body and to come into balance during this dynamic time. What, what are like some of your top tips? You know, the thing that's come into my head, as you said, mm. it, is yeah. a, a cocoon, an angelic cocoon. Yes. This is something I love to do because when you're in that cocoon, you are totally safe. Nothing yeah. can get to you. Yeah. And I make a cocoon by calling in the dragons. Now, mm. what they do is they clear your pathway in front of you for the mm. day. They yeah. protect you. They put an etheric wall of fire around you so you are Love totally it. safe mm -hmm. and lower vibrations of fear are dissolved yes. and the angels they sing around you mm -hmm. they are holding you in that love energy mm -hmm. and the unicorns pour their blessings Love down it. above you holding you in higher light. I don't know if you'd like me just to do that now. Do it please we love it. Let's and so just people just Close your eyes if you want to, put your feet flat on the floor so that you are grounded. And then call in the dragons. The fact that you've called them in means they are with you, whether you can see them or sense them or not. Ask the dragons to go in front of you during the rest of your day and clear your pathway and move around your energy fields, totally protecting you, placing you in a wall of etheric fire so that any lower energies are automatically dissolved, burnt up. And now call in the angels and ask them to place you in a golden cocoon and to sing over you and fill your cocoon with love. You may have a sense of them enfolding you. And now call the unicorns, the pure white energy, to pour blessings down over you and hold you in a high frequency, a frequency above any challenges, any sickness, any ill health. And the longer you remain in your angelic cocoon, the more quickly your life will become wonderful and amazing and healthy. And then open your eyes. Beautiful. I'm so glad our listeners got to experience that. Well, it's very simple. If I'm yeah. watching television and I see something awful happening in the world, yeah. I send the dragons, the angels and the unicorns to work on the different levels there yes. and surround the people in angelic cocoons or whatever yes. to enable the frequency there mm -hmm. to rise. I love that. I love the, those three energies working together too. It's very complete. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Okay. I think yeah. it's lovely. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. It's been so wonderful to have you on the podcast. Um, at the end of the podcast, I usually ask everyone the same question. Uh, and I did not inform Diana about this at the beginning because I forgot. So this is going to be a totally... <laughs> just new to her mind it's not a particularly hard question and that is um if you could send a message of one thing back to your 17 year old self what would it be oh god I be... a fun question <laughs> you are amazing you can do what you want to do in life don't, like yes. don't be afraid for goodness yes. sake go for it yes 
I wished I I wished I'd had somebody to say, look, you've got right. all this help. Yes. But just go for it now because yeah. you know, the angelic realms are there to help you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with us. <laughs> Thank so you. Nice to chat with you. Lovely. Yes. Uh, please go check out Diana's work at dianacooper.com. I can't wait to watch her unicorn documentary. It sounds amazing and it can help us continue to connect in with all these energies that we've been getting to, to be exposed to today. And you can find Diana at on Instagram uh, at Diana Cooper. I have I had it pulled up, but I don't see it on here. What does, do we know? Let me look. Diana okay. Cooper Angels. That, okay. That's well, what it is. You can get to it through my website. Oh, anyway. Go find Diana, basically. She's amazing. Thank you all for listening to the podcast and we wish you a beautiful day. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Happily Holistic with me, Amy Lee Mercury. You can find out more about the show on amyleemercury.com on the podcast page. Please stop by your favorite social platform and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear how you liked today's show and what topics you'd like me to cover in the future. Come find me on Instagram and Facebook at Amy Lee Mercury. Until next time, stay happily holistic.